This is Amy Chapman for 12 for Puppy, and this is Pilaf. Welcome to Growing Up Guide Pup. This week, I took Pilaf to an elementary school to visit with some school children and educate them on guide dogs. Visiting school children is something I love to do, so anytime I get an opportunity to take any of my puppies to go talk to some school kids, I jump all over that. It's really a lot of fun. Taking the puppies to school is a great way to educate the children not only about puppy racing, but about guide dogs and service dogs in general. Sometimes it can be really fun to get an active working guide dog team to join us on these talks. So this time we asked our friends Linda and her working guide Renata to join us on this adventure. It was a really nice day outside so all the children gathered and sat down in front of us and we joined them. And we began by talking about what guide dog puppies do and what I do as a guide dog puppy racer. And then after I was done telling the kids about what I do, we handed the topic over to Linda and she was able to tell the kids what Renata does for her and she even gave some demonstration. Put our right now forward. See how she stops? Okay, that's what she needs to do at a curb. And then I step. Renata forward. Forward. Good girl. Renata say. There you go. Sorry, she's a little hyped up. <laughs> After Linda and Renata's demonstration, yeah, I gave a little demonstration about what we're teaching yeah. Pilaf. So she is getting really good at this. And okay. So we don't want to stop the game all the time because if we told her that's enough and then just put it away, she'd be like, okay, I'm not giving up this time. So we're going to let her play for just a second here. So she knows her that's enough command. Let's see if we'll do it again. Pilaf, that's enough. Good girl. Excellent. Okay, come here. And so, Pilaf, sit. And she knows a little bit of a stay, so if I tell her, be off stay, she should stay nice and still. Let me walk all the way around her. <gasps> Good girl! When we were done with our demonstrations, we opened up to questions from the kids. Now kids ask some really good questions, and it's always fun to answer them. Good question. Green and white shirt. What do you do when you can't train a dog, and when you tell it to do something, it won't do it even if you do like it every day? What do you do if you can't train a dog a certain thing? Hmm. Well, you work on it and you work on it, but ultimately, like Linda said, not all of these dogs will make it as a guide dog. So about half of the puppies that are born up at the campus will graduate as guide dogs. So <coughs> Pilaf here has about a 50-50 chance of graduating as a guide dog. So if they can't learn a task, then they ultimately don't become a guide dog. Or if something is too hard or too stressful, then they get career changed and do something else. Yeah. I think so. Does Pilaf jump a lot? Yes, Pilaf does jump a lot. We're trying to break this habit because as you can imagine, if Linda was walking down the street and all of a sudden Renata sees something that sees somebody that she wants to say hi to and she jumps up on them, you think that's really good for Linda? No. no. So Ooh, great question. Where do the puppies go if they don't make it? Uh, the puppy racers get first choice to keep the puppies as a pet. And I actually have two at home that didn't make it as guide dogs that are our pets. Um, or they, the puppy raiser can place them with a friend or a family member or even sometimes they go off to other work like search and rescue dogs or hearing dogs. Uh, there's a great program called Dogs for Diabetics that alert people who are diabetic if their blood sugar is low or high. Is there a, uh, is there a certain breed for the, the, the dog, like guide dogs or that is, can it be any? That's a great question. The question is, is there a certain breed? Uh, Guide Dogs for the Blind up in San Rafael uses golden retrievers like Renata, Labrador retrievers like Pilaf, and then they also will combine the two. So, but, uh, like, you can make any well, the school only uses those ones. They actually breed their own puppies. So they do all their own breeding, and so all the puppies are born at the campus, and they do occasionally take outside breeding. But they used to use German Shepherds, but they stopped. But those are pretty much it for what they use as guide dogs right now. So when the kids were done asking their questions, we gave an opportunity for all the children to come up and meet and greet both Pilaf and Renata.
This was a great opportunity for Pilaf because she's been having a little bit of trouble with her meeting and greeting of people. She'll occasionally jump on people and she's still even a little mouthy. So I explained this to the children and they did an amazing job. Thank you. Rolling. On one, two, three. This was a really fun episode for us to shoot this week. We love to educate people about guide dogs and guide dog puppies through our show, but it was a nice opportunity to reach out into the public and talk to some school children about what we do. So I want to thank the Serendipity School for having us, and a huge thank you to Linda and her guide dog Renata for joining us. It made the day really special. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Growing Up Guide Pup. Bye.